Alright guys, what is going on and has been a little while. I'm sorry for keeping y'all in suspense. I've been have post I've been posting about this. I've been talking about this as far as doing an unboxing. Um I know I've been posting about it on Twitter. I know that I've been posting about it um practically everywhere. Uh I've just been there's been a lot of things going on. I've been doing a couple of articles. I'm doing some stuff with a couple of other projects and companies. So, uh, do be patient, and I appreciate y'all for being patient. This is gonna be the fourth unboxing. Again, one more time, I do apologize for getting y'all so late on this. Uh, that is absolutely my fault. I had a little bit of an error right there. So, again, today we're gonna be unboxing with gloves and a mask, a Ninja Turtles mask, uh, the Raphael PCS collectibles statue again this is the Raphael and when I got it in my hands the first time around I was a little bit upset because when it came in it came in off the truck a little bit damaged there's a slight little tear but other than that the box is pretty solid again this is gonna be the front just like I usually do this is the front this is the side this is the other side the bottom of course if you guys want to go follow the company themselves see what they're doing PCS collect Twitter Facebook Instagram everything that's on there I'm, they have a website of course but those are their main social media plugs and then of course we got the bottom and uh, this one probably has to be my favorite just the way that he looks in general uh, the way that the length of the size aren't short, like most, uh, like most figures of Raphael. Again, we gotta be real careful. The reason why I'm wearing a mask, and I've said this before, is because I don't want to get any type of bacteria. The same thing with my hands. Your hands, your fingers get real oily. So if you ever become a collector of anything and their figures, make sure that you know that your hands have plenty of oils. You do not want to get them on the actual figure itself. And especially like the bacteria if you breathe on it. Through time. Alright, I do apologize about that. Uh, we had a little bit of a family thing going on. Uh, as you can tell, I cut to a specific scene. Uh, I need my mask, don't I? <laughs> Hold on. Alright, here we go. So, um, got my mask. Again, Raphael, PCS uh, collectibles. It looks absolutely fantastic. I already got it unboxed so far. Uh, now all I gotta do is take off the plastic. So we're gonna be very careful to doing so, just like we did the other ones. Come on. I'm go ahead and put this over here. And let's take him out and get a good look at him. As I stated before, the size are what uh, what amazed me most out of this whole thing, just because of how long they are. Most uh, most size, most weapon um, production on on uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles are the 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 weapon is usually like a lot smaller than this, but it's like a complete length of the side that he would generally use in the cartoon or even the movie if you remember the movie that's the way that he would kind of hold them exactly like this um but he looks beautiful absolutely love him uh the side that's a little bit of dust i don't know why there's dust of course he's standing on the rooftop part of a rooftop R. of course the detailing on it is great it even looks like the belt can come off you know, they actually did the indentions in to where, where they're dipped in. And this coloring is just great. I love it. And like I said, the weapon, the, his weapons, the size just look fantastic. They even have like a little me me metallic spray on it. That kind of reflects in the light. Almost like they are metal. Get the backside. Then we have the full turtle shell, of course. Piping along that bottom of the rooftop we'll get on the side 
he just looks fantastic. He looks sick. You know. You know when they make these these specific statues, they, they do pay attention to somewhat of detailing. Uh, if not, they they find people who do the detailing for it. This is the this is the representation of their statues. It is great. I love it. I cannot wait to get all four of them uh, together. I'm gonna take some photos here in a little bit. But again, this is the TMNT 1980s uh, cartoon TMNT uh, unboxing PCS. I know my wording is everywhere. It's been a it's been a crazy week, guys. I'm so sorry. Uh, and I have the whole collection. I have four. Uh, we do have some other unboxings that are going to be done in the next couple of days. I'm really excited to be showing those. Those are based off the 1980s film, the live adaptation. Um, and I hope you guys enjoy those as well. Uh, I'm not going to say what they are, but I've been waiting for them for a good couple of months. So, uh, but let me know what you guys think down at the bottom. I'm going to be posting a bunch of pictures. I'm going to be taking some photos here in a little bit with my uh, DSLR camera. Uh, get some pictures up on Twitter if you guys want to go follow me on there. Uh, I might do a small little video montage um, of all four together. I haven't decided yet. Uh, that way I can post it up on YouTube. But uh, stay tuned. Don't forget to like, subscribe, follow, and, and uh, comment for additional content. Uh, if you're liking this type of content, these type of unboxings. Uh, but until then, again, I do stream Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays at Deltron underscore 210. Link is down below in the description. And I'm going to catch y'all later. Peace out.